Hi everyone and welcome to today's Thursday Homework Help. Today I'd like to talk about how we analyse the differences between a book and a movie that's made from that book. This is a common assessment topic for uh, secondary students and sometimes upper primary students as well. Now, in my own life, I have a rule for myself and my children that if a movie has been made from a book and we can get our hands on the book, we read the book version first. And that's because the nature of movies and the time constraints that they have means that in many instances, parts of the book have to be cut to make the movie. Okay, so that's fairly obvious and that's why I have that rule and that way we know that we have a bit more context for the things that happen in the movie and we can sort of fill in the blanks from our reading of the book. Now that's not always possible but if it is I suggest that you read the book first, okay? And then when you've read the book and watched the movie it's important to go through this three-step analysis process that I've put out here. Many of us just stop at the first stage and think about what the differences are. So when a question on an assignment says discuss the differences, we stop here and say, well, this was different. The characters were different. The setting was different. Perhaps the um, themes were different or the dominant theme was different. We forget then to go on and have a look at these deeper thinking questions down below here. So first of all, what did change? Make sure you make a note of that. And if you're a little bit uncertain, maybe your memory hasn't served you very well and you don't have both the movie and the book available at the same time to go back and watch and analyse, you can probably find some summaries of those sorts of things on the internet. If you Google some uh, student note page on some student note pages, um, you'll be able to find that kind of information. Because the, the part that's really unique to you is not so much spotting the differences, but really how you analyse them. And this is the bit that needs to be unique to you and not copied off a website somewhere. So they're going to look at how the changes have been made. So if there's a character missing, how has that character changed? Have the things that that character said been given to another character who speaks their lines as part of their characterization? Or has the setting been changed from a historical setting to a modern setting? Or was it um, perhaps a book that was set in a futuristic setting and the movie's made in the current setting? Think about how it has changed. Because when we start thinking about how characters missing settings, changing themes, and so on, then we can, that leads us to think about why, why those changes would have been made. Now, it's easy to say, like I did at the beginning of this video, well, it's just because there's not enough time in a movie to cover everything from the book. And that's true. That is one of the main driving factors, I think, for a lot of the editing that happens in terms of what's included in a movie. But that's not the only thing that has to happen. That's not the only reason. If that was the only reason, then the um, material that was left in might have been made shorter as well. If that was the only reason, why did they not keep the stuff that they cut and cut out the bits that they put in? What We need to think more deeply than that and think about why the information that was kept was kept in the way that it was, and if it's changed from the book, why they changed it in that way, and then why the information that was cut was cut. And that's not just because there wasn't enough time. It might be because they were able to condense a couple of characters and their um, personalities and their lines and their contribution to the plot, and they might have been able to condense that into one character which then made the movie a little bit shorter and the cast a little bit less confusing for people who were watching. Perhaps the changes were made because the way that the book was received when it came out, if it's, especially if it was written a little while ago, may have been cutting edge. It may have really confronted readers with some unusual thoughts. But by the time the movie has come out, society has changed and the movie would not be confrontational. And perhaps the director wants people who watch the movie, the viewer, to experience that same sense of confrontation that readers of the book would have had. They want the movie to be current and to have that impact in the current day. And so they may have changed the setting or changed some aspects of the characters to make them more contemporary and reflect today's society and give viewers that same sense that readers of the original book would have had. These are the deeper questions you need to be asking. Why were those changes made? So what were the changes? How were things changed? But most importantly, why were those things changed? 
and perhaps when you get to the why, then you start to really understand the movie a little bit more and have some of those aha moments where you recognize the director's choices. Um, and sometimes we're guessing at what they might be, but if you can back up your speculation with good evidence, then that's going to make for an excellent discussion for your assignment or analysis or whatever the uh, cognitive verb is that you have to use. Um, it will give you a lot of food for thought at that stage. All right, guys, I hope that's helpful. If you are reading a book or analyzing a movie at the moment and would like some assistance, please feel free to shoot me an email to jane at lavenderlearning.com.au. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss future English help as well. Thanks, guys. Bye.